Alrighty then, hold on to your socks because Mouse Toes is fixing to make her first ever great pie crust. Thanks to Tina at Pecan Corner. It ain't gonna be Martha Stewarty pretty. It's not how I roll. I'm a redneck, okay? All I'm trying to do is make a top and bottom flaky pie crust for the first time ever. So here goes. Don't laugh at it. It's going to be great. I just believe I can do it. Yes. Alrighty then. This is a food storage experiment. Uh, you saw my pie crust, thanks to Tina at Pecan Corner, uh, doing a video and teaching me about using lard. I made a pie crust. It ain't pretty, people, but I ain't a fancy kind of chick. So anywho, I've got some butter and some onions going here. Uh, home canned chicken broth in November of 2013 and this is my chicken soup so my intention is to see if I can turn chicken soup into a chicken pot pie of course there's milk and flour so I'm getting this going I'm then going to add my flour get this thick and we're going to see if this turns out to be a chicken pot pie so instead of this just being chicken soup, my intention is, can I turn this into chicken pot pie? Because this is what I put in a chicken pot pie. Peas, carrots, taters, tomatoes. So, and these, with the exception of the corn and tomatoes, I grew in my last house. So I've had this since September 2012. Can't hurt to give it a whirl, right? It's food storage experimentation week at the marshmallows. Oh yeah! I'll let you know what happens. Huh? Anything can happen. So I've got the milk, home canned chicken broth in here, onion, and butter, and I've added salt, black pepper, and celery seed, which I really like the flavor of in a pot pie. And this sauce is delicious, so I need it to get thick before I pour in my experimental can of home canned chicken soup from September 2012. Anything could happen. Stand by. And my ugly pie crust awaits. Okie dokie then. This is my pot pie and my crust is beautiful. I mean, it's a crust, not like it's pretty like Betty Crocker. Listen, I'm a redneck. I'm not going for Martha Stewarty, okay, or Betty Crocker. I'm going for, holy smokes, that's so good I want to slap somebody's mama. So anyway, while this was cooking and while I was putting it together, I watch a movie on the Lifetime Movie Network. And in case you don't know, it's like The Bold and Beautiful, Young and the Restless, and Days of Our Lives rolled into one really bad movie with some of the worst actresses you've ever seen. So the theme is always a crazed woman, right? And the woman happens to be a hot, smoking hot hoe, right? And some married man in the movie Ooh, how flaky. Always loses his mind for that hot app, that hot low hose, smoking hot body, right? Loses his mind over a hot piece of tail. Then it becomes, you know, the ex-wife has to go to jail. Look at this, people. I made a flaky pie crust. Thank you, Pecan Corner. I could have made a cuter thing, but I don't know. It's just not how I roll. So, anywho, it always involves the new hoe smoking hot hoe wanting the child or children of the ex-wife who was done wrong because the husband left her for the smoking hoe. Woman always ends up going to jail then they find out the woman was crazy. No. <gasps> so anyway, two hours of the worst movie ever loved it. Holy cow people. I have done it. Now let me get my little intoxicated countertop tripod and let's test it. Ooh, I got flaky pie crust, people. First time ever. Oh my god, that is so good. Okay. 
pot pie business. Oh, well, I thought, mm hmm. I uh, uh, so good. It's so hot. It's very hot. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Check it out. I made a pie crust. Mm hmm. So, in summary, yes, indeed, you can make a righteous chicken pot pie from chicken soup that you have canned in 2012. Uh-huh. I rocked it. Thank you, Tina at Pecan Corner. Woo woo. Mouse toes made a pie crust. Woo woo. It's your birthday. Mm-mm.